Hey tribe, welcome back for another video. Sorry that they have been kind of stretched out lately. I am here to just give you a quick update on how my fourth pregnancy is going and what I have been eating now that I've moved into the second trimester. So I'm going to be focusing on the food. It's all about the food. Um, I don't think most of you guys really care how I am feeling now that I'm in the second trimester. But you know, if um, you did not watch my other video that I made um, several weeks ago about how sick I was um, for the very first time ever in pregnancy, um, you know, crazy food aversions and gallbladder issues and all this stuff and why I've had to temporarily give up carnivore. You can go ahead and watch that video. Um, I will link it below for you. But now that I've moved into the second trimester at the filming of this video, I will be 18 weeks along. And I am just so grateful to have my health back. I will tell you, I no longer have gallbladder issues. Um, I don't have pain, just all day, you know, spasms, things like that, which I am feeling so grateful for. Um, and so what I've been focusing on now that I am not having such intense meat aversions, um, and just all day feeling like garbage, I have been really trying to focus on a meat based as much as possible meat animal based diet um, that is organic and um, processed food free. So here we go. This is what I have been consistently eating for many weeks now that I've been feeling better. So we are going to talk about what my family calls pizza dippers. Okay. Uh, that's what my cousin, my cousin, that is what my son calls them. So they are egg life wraps. They are primal kitchen, um, tomato basil sauce. If you don't make your own sauce at home, I do that. Um, but right now I'm just not doing that. Primal Kitchen has just the cleanest, best tasting organic uh, tomato sauce if you are keto. And so it has been awesome. This is the only flavor I have tried and it is very, very good. And I've tried a lot of organic tomato sauces over the, over the years and none of them have tasted as good as Primal Kitchen. And it is pricey, but it's so worth it. And one jar lasts us ages. And so in my opinion, it's worth the investment. And then with the pizza dippers, we use a shredded Italian cheese. Sometimes it's organic, sometimes it's not. Um, and I will get a pan, I will put lots of butter in it, and I will, you know, sauce it up, put the cheese, two egg life wraps, like a quesadilla, and I fry it in a pan until it's crispy on both sides and I slice it you know into eight little triangles and I will eat it. Um, this is a favorite of my children but this sits well with me um, and so I've been eating a lot more of the egg life wraps because I'm still really iffy on eating eggs. Next up, um, this saved me during the first trimester and I'm continuing to eat it here in the second trimester, not as heavily as I did, but I found this brand of organic tomato soup. Um, I really like it. I shake it like crazy. I put it in a pan. I will add, um, I don't buy like raw milk and I, what, what am I using right now for my milk? I'm using Fairlife. That's what it is. <laughs> Sorry. I'm using Fairlife milk. So I'll just splash some Fairlife milk in there, um, heat it until it's warm. Occasionally I'll put some shredded like cheddar cheese in there. And this just works awesome for me. Um, I do add a lot of salt to it. It says it's low sodium, but you know, if you're keto carnivore or just are up on your nutrition, we all know salt is not bad for you, only adds flavor and all the extra great things. And so I load it with salt, otherwise it doesn't have enough flavor for me. And so this has been a really great uh, soup brand that has helped me in this pregnancy. Next up, we have 
the Aldi's pork sausage. I've talked to you guys about this several times in my other food videos. This is the cleanest pork sausage I've been able to find. Um, obviously, Jimmy Dean's not so clean, um, but the Aldi's brand, and you can't always find it, but it is in the refrigerated section you know, like in the, in the tubes or whatever, one pound a piece. I like buy 12 pounds at a time every time I run into an Aldi and it's literally the only thing I buy there typically. And so everyone looks at me like I am a nut when I am making an Aldi run. And so, um, I eat this pork sausage in many, many ways. I make them into patties and then I'll put some cheese, some cold cheese on top. Um, I will just saute it in a pan, like it's ground beef. Um, and throw some of the Primal Kitchen tomato basil sauce on it and have um, a pasta -less spaghetti. Um, that tastes very good with some, you know, like Parmesan cheese on top. That's been doing me really well. I also love making, we've been doing it for years, a huge family favorite for us. I do have a video on it. I think it's on my snacks. I think I talk about how to make it in my snacks video. Um, in my playlist, but the cream, the sausage cream cheese meatballs, mwah, I could eat those every single day. Um, beef is still super duper hard for me to eat and sometimes to smell. And so um, this has really been a staple meat for me right now. I'm still eating and surviving on hard boiled eggs, not as much as I was in the first trimester when I literally couldn't get like any meat down at all. Um, but I'm still eating hard boiled eggs because warm eggs is still pretty iffy for me from day to day. And so I have my hard boiled eggs and my Redmond salt and I'll sit down and eat two, three, four of those um, for a meal. And then um, when I am eating hot eggs, it literally is a day-to-day -day thing, which is annoying to me. <laughs> Some days I can have a single burger patty with cheese and I'll put an over easy egg on top and, and I can do it, but I can only eat one. And then, and then I'm tapped out. It's like I just start feeling gross. Occasionally I can do that. Um, but if I'm going to have warm, <clears throat> like cooked scrambled eggs, I, ha I have to eat it with, um, my husband makes this amazing concoction. So he will do the, the pork sausage, right? He'll brown it in a pan. He'll put little cubes of ham in it. Like the, you can buy them like in a package already pre-diced or whatever. And then we will cook bacon and then put little bacon bits in there. And then we'll crack a bunch of eggs and we'll cook it all together and it's just a meat lover's scrambled egg omelet. I can eat hot eggs if it is that. Um, to just make me like a plate of scrambled eggs right now is just completely not appetizing and um, I have to just prepare it a different way. But yeah, hard boiled eggs and then eggs prepped with all the different meats and cheeses in there is working good for me right now. Also what's been tasting very good to me um, at the moment is crab cakes. Now, not all crab cakes are created equal. If you go to a restaurant and you get crab cakes, they're typically fried um, in oil, so I don't order them out. Um, or they're just loaded with breadcrumbs or cornmeal or something like that. So I don't order them out. I will say my wedding anniversary was just a few days ago, and I did order crab cakes at Wildfire, and they were oven-baked crab cakes and then finished off in a pan. Those were the most amazing crab cakes I've eaten in a really long time. And it was actually crab and it wasn't loaded with breadcrumbs and things like that. So ugh, that was primo. But I did make myself some crab cakes just the other day. I bought, make sure it's real crab, not imitation crab, make sure it's real meat. And so, um, I bought a eight ounce container of crab claw meat that I'd been, I had for a really long time. I'm like, I need to use this before it goes bad because some days it sounds amazing to me. And then other days I'm like, this is disgusting. I can't even like fathom eating crab right now. And so I got the crab meat and then Primal Kitchen's avocado oil mayonnaise. Mayo, love it. Also pricey but completely worth it. Organic, 
clean ingredients. We don't use excessive amounts of mayonnaise, so one jar lasts us a very long time. Um, but again, if clean ingredients and your health are important to you, you know, you, you pay it. <laughs> and so, um, I did the crab meat. I did, uh, I don't know. I did more than what it called for. I think like a whole cup or three quarters of a cup of mayonnaise. And then I used pork panko. I used too much of the pork panko for my taste. So when I make them again, I'm going to use less. Um, but then like a half a cup of the pork panko, which I added more than a half a cup because it just looked so saucy that, um, I wasn't sure if it was gonna like fry up right in a pan. So I got nervous, but I should have just let it sit there and absorb um, and, and like thicken up and then cracked an egg in it as well. Um, but they made perfect, I think I made five or six um, half cup patties and my son and I just absolutely loved them. They were really, really good. They were a little bit porky for me. Um, again, I'm just going to take out a little bit of the pork panko next time I make them. And then I fried them in tallow. No, 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 no. That's why I fried them in ghee. I fried them in ghee. So, cause ghee has a higher smoke point and I didn't want the butter in the pan to burn. And so I scooped out some ghee in a pan, fried them for five minutes on each side. And they were really, really good because they were a little porky for me, um, what I decided to do was I took a little bit of the Primal Kitchen mayonnaise and a little bit of the Primal Kitchen ketchup and I mixed them together to have like a sauce with them um, because as this crazy pregnant lady having all these food issues that I've never experienced before, if something just tastes weird, like I literally just can't eat it. Like it's nauseating to me. <laughs> and so um, with that mayonnaise ketchup combo, I've been able to eat these without an issue and I've been really enjoying crab and I plan to make a lot more crab cakes here in the future. Also in total transparency with you guys, I have been eating some grapes. I'm gonna put it in <laughs> okay. Sorry, kids. Um, so I haven't eaten grapes in probably two weeks now, but when they are organic grapes at the grocery store, I will have like a palm full of grapes. They just seem, they just taste good. They're just working for me right now. My kids eat a lot of organic fruit. They eat one to two pieces of fruit a day. Um, and I just have no desire to eat strawberries or apples or kiwi or a banana just only like super cold crunchy grapes will do and so i my grocery store hardly ever carries organic grapes and so they're few and far between but if i do see a grape i do and have been enjoying those and also another thing that's really been helping me during this pregnancy is organic sweet potatoes and the ones that I find at my grocery store are really really small I just love to bake them in the oven until they're cooked through and I just add a ton of butter just a ton of grass-fed butter to it and it's been working really well especially when dinner is my least favorite meal to eat I just really struggle to sit down and then my whole family's eating like hot meats and stuff and so um I found that if we're all having cheeseburgers, I will have, you know, a burger patty, right? Because we don't eat grain. So, um, you know, we'll eat cheeseburgers or and I can have a little side of sweet potatoes with lots of butter and just it disguises the flavor of the meat and it just really helps me. So I've been really enjoying the organic sweet potatoes lately. I haven't had sweet potatoes in almost two years since doing the carnivore diet. And so that's really helped. And then I eat lots of various cheeses and nuts as well. Um, if I eat nuts, it's just a really small amount, you know, usually to kind of vary things up, whether it's pistachios or organic almonds or whatever, I'll just do a little bit of nuts. Um, and then we eat a lot of cheese. And so our family can digest it well. And then the last thing that's really been helping me stay more meat based um, in this pregnancy is buying deli ham. And I know deli meat is really controversial in 
pregnancy, but if you heat it up, it kills the bacteria that can possibly cause issues. And so I've been putting some deli ham in a pan, heating it up, and then I'll put some cheese on it and it gets a little melty. I'll take an egg life wrap. Of course, I'm putting my mayonnaise on it and I'm putting the ham and cheese on the, um, on the egg life wrap. I'm rolling it up and I'll have like a ham and cheese roll. I eat that very often and it just works really well for me um, in this time in my pregnancy. So I really hope you guys, you guys found value in this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have been trying to be more meat-based, um, no processed food, keto during your pregnancy, please tell me below and how you are doing. I wish you nothing but blessings on your health journey and I will see you in the next one guys. Bye-bye.